Welcome to Trojan Talk. Are you looking for a job or chance to volunteer? There are job and volunteering opportunities available. Go to the high school website and click on the counseling tab for more information. Hi, uh, I'm Stephen Leach and here we got a couple tips of things you can do in the summer. Getting your locker assignment, flag corpse, cross country practice. Sports inside Wilmer Lake, Dean. I'm Austin. I'm Lenny. For girls track in the 4x200, they took 14th place and got a time of 150. Uh, the 4x400, four uh, they got 20th place with the time of 422. Good job, ladies. We're here with, we're with, here with two baseball players, uh, Mitchell and Nate. So how did you guys do on Monday? We won 12 nothing. When, it, when do you guys play next and where? We play on Saturday in Clinton. So when was the last time you guys won districts? The last time we won districts was 2003. Wow. So good luck to you guys at regionals. Thanks. There has been in the office for collecting food donations for Whitmore Lake families to help them get through the summer. Next week is exam week. Monday, June 8th is 5th and 6th hour exams. Tuesday, June 9th is 1st and 2nd hour exams. Wednesday, June 10th is 3rd and 4th hour exams. Buses will be available after exams, and if you would like to stay and study, they will run again at 2.45. Tomorrow it's going to be sunny with a high of 75 and a low of 52. Thursday is going to be another sunny day with a high of 82 and a low of 58. Uh, Friday it's going to be rainy with a high of 82 and a low of 54. And Saturday it's going to be sunny again with a high of 75 and a low of 52. And Sunday it's going to be partly sunny with a high of 75 and a low of 57. That's all for weather. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Sophie. Are you a current 9th or 10th grade student? A good student with no D's or F's? A good person with no disciplinary issues? Then you and your parents are invited to an informational meeting about a trip to Europe on spring break in 2017. It's in Miss Huddleston's room in room A105 on Thursday, June 4th at 6 p.m. Uh, attending the meeting does not mean that you have to go on the trip, and they'll talk about itinerary, cost, and enrollment procedures, and, and, and answer any questions you may have. Uh, if And we're on our way on this beautiful Saturday morning. Just woke up, ready for state. So good. Coach Loss. Coach Loss is ready to go. I was up at 6:10. I'm ready to go. I'm 6:10. Yeah. Let the games begin. What? <laughs> I'm here with my uh, boyfriend. He came here to watch me, and he doesn't want Thanks me. So. Cal, are you happy that Deacon came to support you? you? Very happy. You're my number one. <laughs> so you don't eat that chicken. <laughs> Cal, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's so close. So close. Oh, come on, come on, Dre. Come on, Dre. Dre, you go. Competition through 15 events and 10th place is in the 
Luther Northern is 17. where the presentation of medals in the boys' shot put will take place. And your... What? <laughs> 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 um, we currently have seven days of school left. Seven so... It says right here. Yeah, so... Yeah, it says on our screen. So... As my partner is trying to say... School's ending pretty soon. We have those finals coming up. Might wanna study those finals. Especially that gosh darn math one. Math. Along with summer approaching, I need to say we need to be careful. We're gonna have fifth and sixth hour exams first, then first and second, and last but not least, third and fourth hour exams. All right, let me specify. On Monday, June 28th, fifth and sixth hour exams will be taking place that day. We'll be having those in the beginning of the day, and we'll leave at 11.15. Uh, buses will also run at 2.45 if you wish to study. The most money ever paid for a cow in an auction was $1.3 million. That's just, that's just ridiculous. Like, it is. Who would do that? You to burn, you went to an auction, he's like, I really like that cow. But... <laughs> I'm gonna go pay <laughs> 1.3 million dollars for it and make a really rich hamburger. That would be a really rich hamburger, yes. wouldn't it? I think that'd be pretty delicious. <laughs> king of Hearts is the only king without a mustache. Well, that's just actually kind of sad. It's like the other kings, they got like their mustache club, but the King of Hearts, he can't join. He, you know, it's a heart, he's looking for love. You gotta stay clean shaven. You know, you, know? you got that mustache. <laughs> Every, la every lady likes the mustache, Cody. That, that's true. That's true. That's why I don't have one, because I don't have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Cody. Me too. The uh, word nerd was first coined by Dr. Seuss in If I Ran a Zoo. Well, so depending how he used it, he probably didn't mean nerd as in geek or anything. But Dr. Seuss did create the word Dr. Seuss pretty much has called everyone a nerd yeah, by so creating this word. It's Dr. Seuss's fault for doing it. So So if you ever get called by if you ever get called a nerd by someone, just blame it all on Dr. Seuss. Yes. It was his fault. A lion's roar can be heard up to five miles away. Well, that's actually a little scary. <laughs> no. Cause you never so know how far away they if are. I went to my house. Mm-hmm. If I stood outside my house yep, yep. and a lion stood outside the high school mm -hmm. and it roared, I could probably hear it from my house. You live five miles away. A little closer, actually. Wow. But see, the scary thing about that is you never know how, how actually close it is. It could be five miles. It could be two feet. Exactly. Well, I mean, you'd notice I mean, if it was if two yeah, feet. Yeah, if it was two <laughs> feet, you'd probably pass out because of how loud it was. <laughs> yes. Well... That's all for Fun Facts. I'm Max. I'm Cody. And we'll see you in next year. Uh, yeah, next year. We'll see you then. That's all for Children Talk. <laughs>